Hey, welcome to the Gospel of Luke. We're at Luke chapter 12, verse 39 and 40. The teachings of Jesus continue, and here we have these two verses. But know this, that if the master of the house had known what hour the thief would come, he would have watched and not allowed his house to be broken into. Therefore, you also be ready, for the Son of Man is coming at an hour when you do not expect so here's an interesting illustration, and again, we're on the same stuff we've been on these last few mornings, right? It's all kind of one piece, but we can't do it in a three-minute video. We can't do all the pieces. So here, be like somebody who we have, the, the example here. If you knew that the master was coming, you'd have everything cleaned up, everything would be ready, you'd be ready to go. But he says that that's what we should be like, but apparently a lot of people are not going to be that way. They are not ready for Jesus to come. They just think things are going to carry on. We'll just have a little bit more time. It'll always go on a little bit longer. It's okay. Don't get too excited now because, you know, that's all always been off in the future all this time. So it's still off in the future. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. The Jesus, the teaching of Jesus is not to worry about it, but to be, be alert, be prepared. Jesus is literally coming. So if you knew someone was coming and they were going to break into your house, he says, you would be prepared, you know, you would have worked it out. You'd have set up cameras. You'd have, you'd have uh, br brought in bodyguards. You'd have brought in, you'd have come there with some kind of a weapon to defend your stuff, right? If you knew someone was going to break in and take something very valuable and expensive, would you just stand there and let them take it? I guess I see some of that happening today. People do are not allowed to just come and take it. Thou shalt not steal, right? So you should defend. And so here's that picture. And what does he say here? He says, if you knew you when you were going to be broken into, you would have taken preventative action. Well, we know Jesus is coming. Have we taken uh, appropriate action to prepare for that time? Be ready. The Son of Man is coming. And it says here that apparently even most Christians are going, to, are going to be not prepared, or at least we're going to be surprised in the moment when Jesus comes. The Son of Man is coming at an hour you do not expect. This is addressing Christians. This is addressing believers in God. And he says, we will not expect it. When that finally comes down, when it finally happens, even the Christians are going to be surprised. Even people who've been reading and studying their Bible and praying day by day and expecting Jesus to come, even we will be surprised. So there's an important warning from Jesus to you and I. Don't think you know everything. Don't think you've got everything lined out. Don't think it's, you know, it's exactly the 18 months and four days away. Don't do that. But make sure your heart is right with Jesus. Let's pray. Father in heaven, there's an important thing here going on. We need to be ready no matter what the situation is. We're told that as a basic fact, Christians, even ones who are well-meaning and believing in our faith, men and women of faith, are, not, are going to be surprised when you actually, literally, actually, physically, actually come. So Lord, there's a, a, a deep warning for us. May we be ready to go, Lord. May our hearts be ready day by day. May we begin each day by asking you, Lord, to convert us all over again, live in our heart by your Holy Spirit, and transform us. Thank you for hearing our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, there's a plan for you today. Make sure that before you go out through that door and go out into the rest of your workday, make sure that you have given your heart to Jesus all over again. And you'll be blessed today.